Okay. Thank you, everybody. JB Ricks, go ahead. Coach, congrats on the win. Um, first, I wanted to ask you about the energy that both sides played in this game tonight, and and how proud of you, how proud are you of the way your team followed up the way they played in Virginia Tech. They played at Virginia Tech this weekend. Well, you know, first of all, Louisville is such a good basketball team and extremely well coached. Um, the two games that we had played them have just been so competitive. Uh, both sides, great players, great plays, and just the comp competition level is just at an all-time high. It's such a it's such a joy to be able to have a front row seat and watch both of these teams compete against each other. And, and uh, tonight was unbelievable. Um, for, for both of us, you know, it, it is very difficult to play high level games so close together. I mean, both of us played on Saturday and then for us to come here on Monday at seven o'clock and leave everything out there on the floor, um, I hope it was it was fun for me to watch, and my hope is that everybody else really enjoyed the competitive, you know, fire and nature of um, of both teams. And I'm really proud of our guys. One of the things that I talked about before the game is that um, uh, to validate our performance, validate our win on Saturday, and what would make our win against Virginia Tech on Saturday even better would be to validate it by our energy, effort, and toughness in, in playing well against Louisville tonight. It wasn't perfect. There were times where we struggled on both ends of the floor. But, you know, one of the things that we talk about is, you know, stepping up and making plays when plays need to be had. And when we needed a defensive stop, we got a defensive stop. And when we needed a basket, we made a basket and just really proud of proud of our guys. Chuck Welcher, go ahead. Coach, as, as impressive as you guys were tonight, do you already kind of start gearing up to combat any complacency with several days off here before facing uh, NC State Saturday? No, not at all. I mean, well, you know, we have tomorrow off and then we'll start you know, with our preparation uh, for NC State. You know, they're a very talented, very good basketball team and terrific coaching staff, and um, they play extremely well at home. And so, you know, it's late February. We're, we're not, you know, we, we've talked about this as a team. This isn't the time to take a deep breath, to relax, to take your foot off the gas pedal. Actually, it's the exact opposite. It's to floor it you know, in terms of our preparation and our practice and our play. And so um, we're focused on um, um, on ahead and, you know, in our preparation for NC State, but just continuing as a team to just get better and better. It's not a time, it's not a time to rest. C.L. Brown. Yeah, we're, uh, uh, when you go to your bench, do you feel like is the philosophy – more like you're stealing minutes for the starters since since this team relies on a starter so much or do you need to get more from that bench I mean you know tonight two points first game against Louisville um, no points in 21 minutes and I think it's 20 minutes today off the bench well you know it you know you you're looking at the points I'm looking at you know the production I really felt like the four minutes that Kerwin was in um, he did some uh, really nice things defensively, got a steal, and so and, and a couple of rebounds. Those are very beneficial to us. I thought Don Tress's athleticism, you know, the four minutes that he was in, um, really allowed us um, on both ends of the floor to be able to match up with their size and athleticism. And I just thought Puff was fantastic off the bench. You know, I don't just look at the points. I look at the energy, the effort, the plays. One of the biggest plays was Puff in the corner, the bounce pass to Brady for two. And so um, his ability to be able to make plays with his length and versatility. And so, you know, we didn't have a lot of minutes coming off the bench, but the minutes that were played by Dontrez, Puff, and Kerwin were very beneficial for us in order to have success and win tonight. Brendan. 
Hey, Hubert, I know you've mentioned a few times throughout the season that you wish you could coach Brady for more than one season. Um, yeah. sure that was again the case today. But just if you can go back, I know you guys wanted him, you know, pretty quickly once he entered the portal. But when you were looking at that tape, how did you decide on, on that so quickly? What was it that stood out sort of immediately to you? Well, his ability to he wasn't just a shooter is just how he you know, played the game. You know, obviously he has a skill that's elite. He can shoot the basketball with great size. And so immediately when I saw the film, that's what I saw. But I also saw his ability to pass the basketball and just make fundamental plays consistently on both ends of the floor. And also, you know, his success in the Big 12. You know, that's for four years he was a starter and put up big, big numbers and played in big moments and big situations and – um, you know, when I saw it on tape and then just confirmation for the first couple times, just talking to him, I just felt like he was a Carolina guy and it would be a joy to coach. Um, everyone keeps telling me this, that it's to enjoy it because it's rare to, um, I just really enjoy coaching him. I really enjoy being around him, and it feels like Brady has been here for four years. And I'm um, so thankful for him and his family for trusting me and trusting this university and this program for somebody that has never lived outside of Oklahoma to just decide to come play for a coach in his first year in a new place. And a, the team loves him. Um, He's a part of Carolina basketball for the rest of his life. All right, we got time. Just a few more. Michael, go ahead. Hey, Coach. So on the topic of Brady, it's, it seems like in the games that I've watched this season that Brady is usually one of the very first guys uh, to take a shot on one of your first few offensive possessions. Do you try to – do you intentionally call things uh, for Brady to begin the game? Like, do you have – a game script, uh, so to speak, to follow, or is it just, you know, the ball finds them? You know, that that's the really unique thing is I, I call very few specific plays for him. You know, the, the ball just finds him. You know, he knows how to get to open spots. You know, when he sets ball screens, he knows when to pop, when to roll. Uh, he's a fantastic screener. And because he's an excellent passer, it puts him in position to be able to shoot and score. I'm sure on the scouting report on everyone says, don't leave Brady, but somehow he finds a way um, to be open. But, you know, another thing for Brady is he can score around the basket and he can, you know, like there's some guys that can shoot when they're wide open, but they struggle when the defender is close by them. And Brady isn't that. Like he can hit contested shots. And so – you know, if you put a smaller guy on him, he can post up. If you put a bigger guy on him, he can shoot threes. And then his last basket where he put the ball on the floor and it was the jump shot at the baseline, I mean, he can even put the ball on the floor and hit a mid-range jump shot. I mean, that was such a, a big, big-time play by Brady. Thank you. <clears throat> Andrew Jones. Coach, what, why was your team so effective keeping them to three points over the final six minutes of the game? And what does it say about them coming off the game they had just two days ago and the minutes those guys were playing that they were able to dig down in those last six minutes and get those stops and limit move over those three points? Well, we, we uh, you know, our energy and our effort, uh, especially the last three minutes of the game, that, that was the best that we played defensively. I felt at times we were tired. You know, the, the game that we played against Virginia Tech on Saturday, it you know, and especially the guys that played big minutes, that's a quick turnaround. And I felt like at times they were fatigued, especially on the defensive end. Our rotations, our closeouts, um, they just weren't consistently great. And Louisville was able to get to the basket and score consistently in the paint. Then we just did a better – her job of, of, of guarding the ball. I felt like um, RJ and Caleb did a really good job on the ball with their pressure. Our bigs were up at the point of the screen where it didn't allow Louisville's guards to get downhill. And it actually put our big in better position to close out to the pick and pop guy 
which allowed us to stay at home with their shooters. And so um, one of the things that I always say is if, if you t the ball is the problem. And if you just take care of the ball, everything else will take care of itself. And so those last moments, those last three minutes, I thought we did an excellent job of defending on the ball. And it allowed us to be in position to defend off the ball because of our job that we did um, on the ball. Thank you. All right, Adam Smith, last one, wrap us up. Hubert, uh, you won your 20th game tonight uh, on the season, and um, I, I know that used to be a magical mark uh, in college basketball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe showing my age here, but uh, it, w no. what are your thoughts on, on hitting 20 wins, and what, what does that mean to you as a, a coach? I haven't had really time to think about it, <laughs> to be honest with you. I think um, I'm just happy when we win. <laughs> Um, it is a big deal to get to 20 wins. Um, it, um, obviously, it's not our goal, and it's not our standard, and it's not where we want to stop. But, um, you know, over the last three years, we haven't gotten to 20 wins. And so um, what, what I'm proud of is – yeah, I think that's great that we've gotten thus far to 20 wins, but how we've gotten there. Um, this group has gone through a lot. You know, we've gone through injuries. We've gone through lineup changes. We've, and we're here. And um, not necessarily focusing on the 20th win, but just focusing on, um, how much we have had to persevere to get to this point. Um, so I'm really, really proud of the guys. And, but I'm not taking a deep breath. Our team is not taking a deep breath. We're not relaxing at all. And we have tomorrow off. And then it's full steam ahead in terms of our preparation for a really good NC State team on Saturday afternoon. But it feels good right now. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank